Nestle, one of the world's biggest food companies, says it is further restricting its operations in Russia. The company announced the move Wednesday, days after Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky publicly criticized it for continuing to do business there. The Swiss conglomerate said its activities in Russia will focus solely on providing essential food, such as infant food and hospital nutrition, as opposed to making a profit. Going forward, we are suspending renowned Nestle brands such as KitKat and Nesquik, among others, it said. We have already halted non-essential imports and exports into and out of Russia, stopped all advertising, and suspended all capital investment in the country. Of course, we are fully complying with all international sanctions on Russia. Nestle added that it is not expecting to be profitable in Russia, but will donate any profit it does make to humanitarian relief organizations. It faced growing criticism in recent days for remaining in Russia, even as many international companies and global brands have suspended operations in the country, and, in some cases, its ally Belarus. Last week, Ukrainian Prime Minister Denis Shmihal tweeted that he had spoken to Nestle CEO about the consequences of remaining in the Russian market, but that he did not appear to understand. Paying taxes to the budget of a terrorist country means killing defenseless children and mothers, he wrote. Hope that Nestle will change its mind soon. Zelensky doubled down on the criticism of Nestle in a speech that was broadcast to the people of Switzerland on Saturday, as CBS News and others have reported. Good food. Good life. This is a slogan of Nestle. Your company that refuses to leave Russia, he said. Even now, when there are threats from Russia to other European countries. When there is even nuclear blackmail from Russia. The company was quick to defend itself, with a Nestle spokesperson telling CNN that it had significantly scaled back its activities in Russia including stopping all imports and exports except for essential products, like baby food. It is no longer making investments or advertising its products there, and does not make a profit from its remaining activities, the spokesperson added. The fact that we, like other food companies, supply the population with important food does not mean that we simply continue as before, Nestle said. We are still one of the few active food companies in Ukraine and sometimes even manage to distribute food in Kharkiv, referring to Ukraine's second largest city, which has been especially hard hit by Russian shelling in recent days. Nestle has some 5,800 employees in Ukraine and about 7,000 in Russia.